What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. This one we're going to take a quick look at some stuff from Enjora. First off, we've got this brand new brushed ESC. Um, you guys, if you watched my video on the Enjora Modern ESC for the TRX4M, you probably know I was a little hard on it. Um, you know, I wasn't a fan of the throttle brake then reverse setting, which couldn't be changed. And so I was kind of hard on it said I couldn't recommend it, that sort of thing. And the cool thing about Enjora, I gotta give them props, is they just messaged me and said, hey, what do we need to do? Like, how can we make it better? We wish we had known that you didn't really like this. Um, would you help us make it better? And you know, that's amazing. I've had a lot of companies, when I post a video like that, they won't ever even send me anything again, or they just wanna go cry to somebody about, um, me not being fair. So I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I mean, I got to give them props for that. So they went back kind of uh, to the drawing board somewhat. And we've now got this brushed mini ESC right here. This is right now only compatible with the TRX4M motor. So you can see here, this plug, we plug into there with the motor. This will go to our receiver. This is for our battery. We do have a uh, adapter in here for the TRX4M battery, it looks like, right here. So this will plug in to this, and then we can run the 4M battery if you choose to do that. I normally ditch those batteries because they're huge. So we'll plug in another smaller battery to that. And then I've also got this radio from them just because they were nice enough. They said, hey, in case you don't have a radio, an extra radio to use with this, we'll send you one so uh we'll check this out while we're at it you know it's a two for one so we've got a receiver here this does have a gyro um built into the receiver here so you can run this on 10th scale or whatever you know you could put this in um, i use the gyro function in my rift believe it or not and i it, it really helps i kind of keep that thing straight so it's nice to have on a lot of different rcs one thing I noticed right away, we've got this. I don't know um, if this clips inside here. Maybe like this. So you can one hand. Nice. So you can definitely get a one hand drive with this thing. Um, we've got six channels on this. Three, four here, which is a three position. And then you've got the two knobs up top pretty nice uh, i wish we had a foam wheel you know that's one thing that a lot of transmitters don't come with that i prefer um, and then we've got our steering dual rates and trims and throttle trims it looks like you've got reversing for your throttle and steering um a port here i'm not sure if that's for charging or connecting to the pc or something to update i don't know all right so that's just kind of a bonus in this mostly gonna check out this ESC in the 4M. All right, quick change of plans. I'm gonna install this in my Bronco just because I kind of wanted to drive my Bronco. I haven't drove it in a while. I'm not a fan at all of the stock system in here. And I wanted to be able to go 3S in this as well. This uh, can only run 2S and I don't like the transmitter. I can't one hand drive it, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna ditch this and we're going to install both of these in here and then we'll see how this thing runs so no one will ever convince me in 2023 almost 24 that we need an antenna on any of these receivers especially for something i'm gonna crawl with okay um so what i do is shrink wrap them up like that then i'm gonna put just a dab of tire glue and just glue it to the side so that it just gets rid of all that goofy wire hanging out and uh, i think i'm gonna mount the esc like that and the receiver back here or something but that will leave me room to put the battery here still and all should be good all right moment of truth got this all in here still able to use the stock battery strap not too bad not super clean but this is more of a scale trail truck i'm not too worried about all-out performance let's fire this thing up so that's on we got a nice blue light up here lets us know this thing's powered up ready to go let's hit our power button here and we're 
connected. We are reversed on our steering, so we're gonna go up here and flip that. Throttle's reversed also. Now let's see what we got. Wow. Pretty good slow crawl right there. Look at that. Way better than before and completely silent. So let's see, let's flip our motor wires because we are faster in reverse. So we should just be able to flip these. All right, so I got the motor wires flipped because I was faster in reverse than forward. If you don't know anybody, I mean, you can just switch these. You can see this is marked negative where I have the positive. All that does is just reverse the motor. So with that, in the correct spot, I was faster in reverse. Now you can see I'm definitely faster in forward. Now normally I do prefer to have full reverse as well. It's not really needed, but sometimes when you're going uphill, if you start to lose it, you can hit that reverse and save yourself. Not a huge deal. This thing seems to have some really good, wow, <laughs> some really good wheel speed on 3S definitely more quiet than this and we've got a nice one hand drive to it let's see how it crawls up over this block we got to get this bumper to clear a little touchy on the throttle you got to kind of get used to that but very good slow crawl for a brushed motor look at that Really good, much better than stock. Very nice. All right, let's see how we can crawl up and over this. It is a little touchy till you kind of get used to it. You kind of got to ease that throttle. You can get a slow crawl, but it's a little bit touchy. There we go. It's just gonna take a little getting used to. Every setup's a little different. These bumpers really kind of restrict what I'm able to do with this thing, but slow crawl is really good on this thing. I'm just really touchy there. I got to get used to that. There, see that? That's a really good slow crawl for a brush setup. Right there's where you're getting a little pressure on both wheels. No issue. Let's take it over here to the course, crawl around with it a little bit. It's pouring rain outside today, so I'm not gonna get out with it, but let's go check it on the course, see how it does. Seems like the BEC's holding strong with the servo. Look at that, nice. So another thing I just discovered with this particular setup, I'm using this Enjora T6 radio. See the channel three? When you turn that on, you've got the nice blue button lets you know it's on. So my lights are on. Turn it off. Lights are off. Very nice. Um, I'm glad that I'm still going to be able to use my lights after getting rid of this. I'm going to get a splitter and plug the headlights and the light bar into channel 3. And then that way I can hit the button and both will come on when I want them. Very, very nice. One other cool thing about this radio real quick, it, it does have a very good feel to it. It's a nice full size radio. Like I said, you've got the one hand drive uh, thumb adapter here, six channels, full size radio. It is basically, there's other brands that offer this exact same radio. So um, I had been using this transmitter here, which I really like. It's got a great one hand feel. I upgraded the wheel on it, you can see, which means this will probably fit that honestly, but we'll find out later. But I had this receiver here. I wanted to show you guys the X6F in this Slayer. I pulled this apart just to get to this to show you guys. But this does pair up perfectly with it. So you could run this with lots of these cars. 
and this is a nice micro receiver. So um, if you do go this route, I mean, it's a very good way to go, in my opinion. And um, just an overall great offering from Minjora at a great price. So I think this combination is a very good setup for this truck and probably for a lot of TRX4M builds. You'll see here, I tried to really put this in some binds. It's standing on its nose, all the weight on those front tires, still turning them fine. This truck does have a pretty good amount of weight to it. It's got, those wheels are brass. It's got the Enjoy brass uh, high clearance links under it. Uh, just overall, a pretty heavy truck. So um, it's running the Enjoy 11 kg servo and this thing was pushing it fine never browned out never acted like it was stalling out uh, when i was trying to get the truck out of a bind you can see the rear hitch there i've got the enjoyer bumpers front and rear should have pulled the hitch off but it was hanging on everything binding up still tons of wheel speed in spots like this right here where i can really put it to use and boom hop up this thing just like that so um that's where with the stock TRX 4M setup, you can put the crawler gears in and get a little better slow crawl, but then you lose that wheel speed and that ability to sometimes bump up onto things. So with this setup, you could go crawler gears, even with the stock motor, I feel like, and gain that really good slow crawl and then run the 3S in there. Or you may even be able to run this ESC with the stock gearing. I, I don't know. I didn't test that just because I don't have a truck set up that way. And it's a lot to try to change gears and motors and everything just to test, you know, one ESC basically. So um, it, all I can speak for is that this combination works very well and I'm very happy with it. Uh, like I said, it didn't have any issues stalling out anywhere. Tons of power seemed like to the steering servo. This um, test model here is actually a slightly lower uh, BEC voltage than what they are going to have when they're released. So this will have a six volt BEC on it. So um, I don't think anybody's going to have issues running whatever servo with this uh, ESC. So in my opinion, it's a really good way to kind of upgrade your truck and get a really good slow crawl plus the K the 3S capability for a good price. You know, if you figure this ESC is going to be around 25 bucks, you pick up a transmitter, whether it's this one or whatever, in that 30 to $40 range, and then you can always pick up the micro receiver like I showed. Those are like 13, 14 bucks. So, uh, and then from that point, you're set. Down the road, you can pick up more of those receivers and use the same transmitter for multiple builds down the road and larger scale stuff if you choose to go that way or whatever. So, I think this is a really good offering from Minjora. I was really happy when they reached out to me and said, you know, they'd improved this. They wanted me to check it out. So then I ran it and I was like, wow, this thing's really good. Like, what's the price going to be, you know? And then I was even happier when they said 25 bucks. I was like, that's that's a good deal, you know? Um, if they came out with this at $55, like, probably not. You know, at that point, you could go looking at um, some ESCs that do brushed and brushless or whatever. But even at like the $35 range, I think this is a pretty good deal. So it's a nice, easy swap over for most people. Like I said, I think you could leave this the stock motor run this ESC or pick up one of the Enjora motors or something like that. You know, I have the PN racing motor in here. It seemed to work really good with it. I had really good luck with the Enjora TRX4M motor. So um, the one that's like the purple label on it, it drove very good in this truck a while back. So uh, I think that would pair well with it. And then you have the gearing options with the TRX4M transmission as well. So overall, I'm thrilled with this uh, setup. I think this ESC should be pretty good with about anything you pair it with. And then you have the gearing options of the TRX4M. So you can always play around with that some. We actually have underdrive and overdrive for the axles and all of that. So there's a lot of things you can change to get a little better crawl or more wheel speed or whatever. But um, I, I like the fact that we can go 3S now. That's, that's huge to me. I mostly run 3S in these little trucks. So um, I have a lot of 3S batteries around, and um, it's just more fun. I like the wheel speed. So you guys let me know what you think about this one. I appreciate you sticking around. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming in the micro stuff. I mean, it's a really good time to be into these small trucks. 
uh, I've been driving some stuff. It's like the best thing I've seen. So, um, get excited, get your wallets ready. Um, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you get notified because there's some really cool stuff coming and uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Let me know what you think about this. I'll link it in the description when it's available. It's not quite available yet. I don't have an exact date, but I will get it in there. So I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.